Somerset on top after three for Brooks against former club. Somerset skipper Tom Abel hit an unbeaten 114 to guide Somerset to 262 for five after the opening day against Yorkshire. But there had been encouragement for the visitors with wickets at regular intervals and the host lead was not too intimidating yet. It was set to be an important morning. Abel and Gregory looking to build on their decent platform towards an imposing first innings total and they did well in the early exchanges. They were heading for 300 when Yorkshire had the key wicket. Abel the linchpin of the innings out LBW to wait for 116. Aldridge joined Gregory, Somerset now just a few shots away from earning more batting bonus points when Rain stopped play. The delay was a prolonged one, but the time off the field did little to upset the host's rhythm. 300 on the board, soon enough. And when they made their way into lunch, Gregory had moved to 47 and the score was now a healthy looking 324 for 6, Abel's the only wicket to fall on day 2. Gregory went to his 50 with the first scoring shot after the break, a teasing one for the slips, 4 runs down to 3rd man, the half century scored off 87 balls. The 7th wicket matched that return when Aldridge found the same patch of outfield and he whipped a Thompson delivery through the point region to move Somerset to 350 after 103 overs. Gregory started to accelerate. Bess launched back over his head for six to move the score closer to 400, but the attacking impetus proved to be his downfall. Down the track, looking for more, he only found the hands of Adam Lyde in the deep, out for 77. In came Jack Leach and he showed little mercy to his fellow spinners. Bess smashed for six and then Schutt remarkably reversed over the offside for another maximum. Quite some batting from the England international. Aldridge took them to 400 with four off the bottom of Bess, but he was about to lose his partner. Leach came dancing down, looking for another six, but missed the delivery, and Tattersall whipped the bales off, his mock, an eye-catching 16 off 18. Jack Brooks didn't stay for long, out caught behind for one off the bowling of Bess. As number 11s go, Marchand de Langer is a bit of a feather in the Somerset cap and showed his quality early. Shannon Gabriel slapped over the leg side for a maximum. Aldridge tried to emulate de Langer, but got the shot all wrong. Somerset dismissed for 424 when his off stump was knocked back. Not the day Yorkshire had hoped for. Somerset putting themselves in a good position, building on that important knock from their skipper. The wickets hadn't come quickly enough for the visitors. Best the most threatening with 4 for 68, but his side were up against it. Yorkshire made a rapid start with the bat. Brooks expensive early on, but he came good. Live out caught by Abel for 13. George Hill would follow the decision to try and go over the top to Leach, not the best. He picked out Renshaw to depart for 19. In came England's Harry Brook. He and Tom Kohler Cadmore brought the Somerset success to an end with an effective counter attack. The young number four really climbed into the bowling of Delanger while his colleague launched Leach. With a Kohler Cadmore three, Yorkshire brought up three figures. Somerset finally found some respite from the blistering assault. Brook out caught by Aldridge off Brooks for 41 or 54. And it was two in two. Night watchman Matt Revis pinned in front. Less of an appeal, more of a celebration from the former Yorkshire bowler. Cola Cadmore battled on though and brought up his half century and took his side past 150 alongside his new partner Matthew Waite. The pair survived until stumps, finishing the day on 167 for four. The visitors still have a lot to do at the halfway stage of the match and Cola Cadmore and Waite will have to push when they return to the crease with their side still trailing by 257 runs. Another good day for the hosts then who will be looking to take quick wickets at the start of day three to force a win and they look favourites for it too. But Yorkshire have a bit about them and won't let the hosts stroll to victory.